God bless you. Welcome to Daily Victory. Let's open up with a word of prayer. Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you, Lord God, for your word. We thank you, Father, for the Holy Spirit, who is our teacher. We commit this time to you, Father, that you would pour into us, Lord God, through your anointing. We put ourselves in position to receive the anointed word. And we bless you and honor you in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So today, we would like to ask you to read 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 1 through 7. And we're going to begin today at the commentary after verse 7 in 1 Peter 1. We're on BibleGateway.com, and we're using the voice version. So the commentary right before verse 8 reads, Early Christians stand apart from the culture and suffer social stigmas and physical persecution at times. Peter challenges them to remain faithful to Jesus, who also suffered for not conforming. And so as believers together, as we pray together, as we share together, we just wanna thank God for how steadfast and immovable each one of us is according to his word, according to the promises. And our faith builds because we know the word of God says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. And so that enables us to not conform in the name of Jesus, not conform to what the world is saying, not not lose faith, not lose hope in the name of Jesus. So we thank God for our hope being anchored in Christ Jesus, in the word of God. And I want to just flip over to Hebrews real quick. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 19. uh, Let me just confirm that. Hebrews chapter 6, yes. Hebrews 6, 19. And it's, uh, let's go to verse 18. Hebrews chapter 6, 18 and 19. And it says, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. Verse 19 in Hebrews 6 says, which hope we have as an anchor for the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that within the veil. I'm going to read verse 20. Whither the forerunner for us entered, even Jesus made an high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. So we thank God that our hope is an anchor. We trust the word. We're growing in our faith. We stand on the promises. We believe everything that Jesus did. We believe everything God said in the name of Jesus. And so, again, from the commentary between verses 7 and 8 in 1 Peter 1, it's talking about Peter challenging these believers to remain faithful to Jesus, who also suffered for not conforming. We don't conform either. And I want to draw your attention to Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2, and it reads, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed, hallelujah, not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So we thank God today that God's will is perfect in the name of Jesus. There's no such thing as his permissible will, which we were incorrectly taught at one time. God's will is perfect. God's will is sure. God's will is steadfast. He says everything. He gives us everything we need to continue in our daily walk with him, in the victory of trusting him, in the victory of hearing his voice, in the victory of 
uh, each one of us walking in obedience, not our own choice, not our own thoughts, but we're transformed by the renewing of our mind. And we have the thoughts of God. The Holy Spirit keeps us in line with God's perfect will for each one of our lives. Each one of us has the plan of God operating in us and through us to give him glory in the name of Jesus. So when someone sees you and they see the glory of God on your life, the Holy Spirit has pre-prepared them to receive truth. So we have a sensitivity to Holy Spirit as we are led by him in our evangelism, in what we do, in how we share the love of the Lord, each one of us in the name of Jesus. And we each are predestined to be used by God for his glory in the name of Jesus. All of what we do, all of how we carry ourselves as believers, all of what we say. And we even looked at in those verses in 1 Peter 1, verses 1 through 7, it talks about how we are we're basically aliens. We are citizens of heaven. We've been set apart. We've been sanctified for a specific use in bringing others into the kingdom through our evangelism, through our obedience, and how the Holy Spirit pre-prepares the hearers that we're going to speak to to be able to receive the truth. And then the Holy Spirit teaches us and equips each one of us, each one of you, to be able to answer their questions and he'll bring to our remembrance every verse we need to be able to explain the truth because most people have their own belief of how God is going to look at them, how God is going to receive them, how God refers to them. But we know the word. We know there's only one way. Hallelujah. No one comes into the Father except through Jesus. And so we honor God today with our, with our voices, with our response, with how we present ourselves to people we don't know, how they're willing to receive what we say. And, and our countenance welcomes them to have a conversation with us as we share the simplicity of the gospel without any religion showing them how much God himself loves them, how much he wants to reconcile with them, how much he wants each human to receive his love. He proved it by the sacrifice of the life of his son in the name of Jesus. And so we thank God for every opportunity that we have to share the gospel, to share the truth, to evangelize, to plant a seed, to water a planted seed in the name of Jesus. And how the scriptures are going to come to your heart. You'll remember what to say. And you'll have no nervousness because the Holy Spirit is leading you. And so we encourage you to do that today in the name of Jesus. And we want to invite you to share this broadcast on your preferred social media. And we want to have each of you join the conversation after this broadcast. There are two numbers. One is in the United States and one is in Canada that you can call in order to participate in the conversation. The first is for the United States. It's area code 302-561-6767. And in Canada, that number is 709-500-6767. Also, we'd like for you to donate if you're able to, if you'd like to, on our website at victoryexperience.com. Or you may text the word donate to area code 302-324-5400. God bless you.